Hey guys, so it's me again. I just got finished filming my IMATS haul. I'm trying to knock out all these videos all at one time. That way I can edit them all and get them all up for you. And what is going on with my hair? Like, really? Okay, so this video is going to be my, um, I guess, LA haul is what you would call it. Now, I did get all that stuff from IMATS, so that was why I did a separate video. Otherwise, that video would have been like an hour and a half long. So I'm going to do it separately. So when we were in LA, it was my first time in LA. My husband has been there. My sister-in-law lives there. Um, one of my best friends who actually did my hair. If you Thumbs up if you guys like my hair. Thumbs up and subscribe if you like my hair. But um, my friend put like these fuchsia streaks in here. And oh my gosh, I love it. Like I was active duty military when I first met her. So she couldn't do stuff like this to my hair. So now that I'm not in the military anymore, she got her hands on my hair and was like, yes. Yes, we're doing what we want. Anyways, okay, so uh, one of the first places we went when I got there, because this was on my I have to do sheet, was Disney. We went to Disney, and it was me and my sister, well, my husband. We all went to Disney, so I got this cute little pirate hat. My husband bought the Jack Sparrow hat, so I don't know. Anyways, I just feel like wearing these are smart of you. Will you take me seriously if I do? Yes? No? Okay, we need to adjust this. Like, seriously. There we go. Alright, so we went down to Torrance, and my parents' friends were the ones who told us about it. It's a very Japanese e Asian Pacific e area. Uh, they had a Japanese market, which, oh my gosh. I was stationed in Okinawa. We used to live on mainland Japan. I love me some Japanese food, like... Legit. Anyways, they have what they have. Uh, it's called Daiso, which is in Japan called the 100 yen store, where everything is basically like a dollar. But here in the US, they call it Daiso, which I mean, it's called that there, but it's like a dollar fifty for everything there. So I got some stuff. Now, this is just the stuff that I picked up for me personally. My husband bought a whole bunch more at the Daiso than I did, but this is just what I got. So, uh, some of these. Hmm, yeah, these are all from the dice, so it's like... Okay, we're just going to jump into it. I have the Alex 9 drawers. So I got two of these little containers just to organize my makeup. I should have gotten more because we did drive there, so we it's not like we didn't have storage for it. But anyways, so I got two of these the little baskets. And then they have all different shapes or sizes, I guess I should say. Not shapes. The other thing I got, which these, I love these, like, way more than American type. But they're the little cotton swabs, like this. So there are 180 of them in here for $1.50. Like, really? Come on. $1.50 for 180 of these. So I got that. And then I saw this there. Now, I already have, like, a cute little, almost like this, of this design. Um, it would have been 200 yen, like two bucks over in Japan. So they rounded it up to $3. But what this is, I wonder if I can open it right now. I probably can't open it right now just because I want it to be opened. But, um, let's see. There we go. Slowly get it open without breaking it. Which, this is actually pretty good quality, so hopefully it, it shouldn't break. It's me trying to open it. Okay, so here we go. Got it open. So what you would do with this, you would take these little bitty things that you have here, and you shove them on the inside, and have the little lid on top, close it, and you just spin them out here from the bottom. Just pull it out like that, little tissue thing. So cute. Of course, Japanese think of everything. And it just sits so pretty right there on your vanity, just like that. Anyway, so I got that. I picked that up. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to be hitting up the Daiso that live in Japan. Or not in Japan, but in California where there are Daisos. The other thing that I picked up were these blotting sheets. Now, again, I probably should have picked up way more blotting sheets than this. But the Japanese are the ones who, like, figured this shit out. And for $1.50, you get 250 sheets. Like, really? Come on. No-brainer. You have to pick those up when you go there. And then the last 
thing that I got from the Daiso. I lived in Japan for so long and I've tried out every single kind of lash glue that there is. There is nothing that beats Japanese lash glue. Like, come on, for real? Japanese are constantly wearing them lashes. They have perfected the eyelash glue. So I picked up one. Again, for myself, I didn't pick up more than that, but whatever. And then, there wasn't too, too much that I bought when I was in LA. Uh, we did a lot of sightseeing, went to a lot of places, picked up some mad Japanese food, oh my goodness. But when I met up with my friend who did my hair, she took me to a shoe shop on Westmore? Downtown LA, I don't even know. Um, but she had these shoes and I just automatically fell in love and I said, you need to tell me where we got these so that I can get them. So these are the black boots that I got with the Union Jack on them. These were awesome. I fell in love with them when I saw them in her house and just knew that I needed to have them. So for those of you who haven't seen my previous videos, I was born in England. My dad was Air Force stationed in England. My husband is Welsh. He was born in Bury St. Edmunds um, because his mother is British. So these shoes hold a dear spot in both of our hearts. And then these other two pairs of shoes I didn't pick out for myself. Like these were the only ones I picked out for me. These other two my husband picked and I, I don't know. Style differences, I guess. I don't know. But these are really cool. They're like these big, chunky wedges. And they have all of these little studs on them. Like back here and here and here. So he needs to be careful. This is like a dude's worst enemy. Do not get into a fight with a girl. She's wearing these. Trust. Anyway, so there are these. And they look like they would be really hard to walk in. Surprisingly, they're not. They're actually really comfortable. And then these other ones... I fell in love with them, and then my friend fell in love with them, but she didn't buy them. She's probably going to go back and buy them, but they're these boots right here. Like, oh my god, I fell in love with these buckles on them. And then the zipper in the back, so that you can slide them on, maybe. Yeah, there we go. But I fell in love with these buckles on. So, that is basically what I got from LA like a lot of this stuff was stuff that I wanted to get but also like a belated birthday gift oh I guess I could do that here the unboxing of my birthday present to myself let's do that this was my birthday gift to myself we're just gonna stick that right there and make it look all pretty so this is the box they give you this ginormous box. So we're going to go into it. I can even open it. Oh, I just cut myself on the box. So it comes with a big dust bag to keep it in. A cloth dust bag. This is my first ever Louis Vuitton anything. Like, you know, you can get the fake stuff. This is the real deal. This thing costs more than my mortgage. Like, oh my gosh. It really did. I'm not even lying. That was not an exaggeration. It cost more than my mortgage. So, this is it. It's one of the kind of fluffy, loungy bags, I guess. That's what I call it. I don't know if that's really how you would describe it. But it's supposed to be kind of like a hobo bag. And it is. It's like a hobo bag. But what I liked about it is a lot of people get the Never Full bag or things like that. I liked the Never Full bag and I wanted to get it. But for travel, it would probably be best for like if you're traveling in the cabin of a plane. I would not necessarily want to use it if I'm walking around, say, New York City and I've got this bag on my shoulder that's open to where somebody could just stick their hand in there, grab my wallet, and that'd be done. That's why I like this one, because this one came with double zippers. So if I'm holding it right here and I want to get into it, I only need to open one zipper. I don't have to open it straight across in order to get into whatever it is that I want from it. So that was one thing that I fell in love with it. And because 
my aunt and I both have a soft spot in our heart for Louis Vuitton. We both got it at the same time. And I think we actually have the same bag, only she's got the smaller version of this one. But this is my birthday present to myself. I've been saving my money forever just so I could buy it, and I am so in love with this bag, but I am so afraid to use it. I do not want it to be stolen. <laughs> so it's been sitting in my room for the past, let's see, I bought this on the 4th of January, and we are on the 24th. It's been sitting in my house, hidden in the box for 20 days. 20 days. I didn't even take it to LA with me because I was too afraid that it was going to go missing. But anyways, so that was my birthday present. So thank you guys for watching my Daiso, my $1.50 stuff, and my mortgage stuff. But anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.